Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. This was a day of learning. The presentation given today by my partner and his teaching partner was more than information. There is an overall concept in this workshop that is trying to be conveyed and sometimes with success and sometimes without and it's this that there is a consciousness of spirit in you an overwhelming benevolence that wants to take you by the hand and lead you through life there is no wall between us not really I speak to you now from the other side of the veil and what you would call that from the creative source in a strata of consciousness that speaks to humanity and there are many of us who do this this is the purpose of that strata of consciousness to help humans discover humans and the divine in humans it doesn't matter what you were trying today to understand it doesn't really matter the complexity what really matters is that at the base of all of it and the principle of all of it is the fact that we are here know who you are know what you're doing and there is a benevolent energy that wants to pull you toward us dear human being you're not even in our dimensionality you cannot see us as we see you there is a test at hand and you know it it's a test of energy how far will you go how far will you stretch out your hand to meet that which is intrinsic in you you are piece of the benevolent creation of the earth that's who you are disguised as a human being in corporeal form and not aware of your seeds of even how you got here that's who you are and in that linear form <clears throat> You ask all of the questions, and we've said this before. How? How many times? How often? What duration? How strong? <laughs> These are all wonderful questions if we were linear, and we're not. Do you know the power of the spark of compassion and intent with you? Are you aware that God knows your mind? If you give pure intent to say, this is what I want, dear spirit, I want this, I just don't know how. Do you know what that creates? Intuition in you on how. In other words, if you're confused on what to do next and how to do it and what the timing is to do it, and you're expressing that to a God who loves you and is standing by to help you, you're not hitting a wall that is uncaring. Does it seem like it? We're ready to show you especially in this energy we're ready to show you how but again we say if you are asking in a linear intellectual way and we are answering in an intuitive conceptual way you're not getting it because your antenna is linear you're waiting for the list you're waiting for that answer 
that is a linear, practical answer to a practical question. And we are saying to you instead, conceptual things. Wait. It's not time. Later. Maybe. Maybe not. We are trying to give you the concepts that will steer you into things that are even beyond what you're asking for. While your antenna is up waiting for a number of how many times. We are giving to you the concepts of love. When you're asking for a duration time. I want you to relax, all of you, into the arms of God right now. What does it mean to you when I say we know who you are? Your soul is so misunderstood. Spiritual religious belief on this planet is in a very old survival energy. It places the soul in a status that completely, in a status completely and totally not God. Your soul is somehow suspended in a place that it's going gonna, it's gonna to survive or not survive. It comes once and it's going to be punished or rewarded. What does that sound? Does that sound like the creator or does that sound like something that men created for you? I want you to, to get rid of the linkage of your soul with something apart from God. Your soul is part of me and you. We are allied. We are the same. There's a new energy on the planet that literally is shouting to you through a transmitter that you're not tuned into yet. And some of you are aware of it. So until you start getting these kinds of messages, I want you to relax and feel the love of it. That you can do. So much misunderstanding. And it all is correctable when you relax and see that we are with you in all things. You don't have to yell. You don't have to repeat. <laughs> you don't have to turn up any kinds of volumes of anything you do, whether it's frequencies, amounts, we're here. We're next to you the whole time. When you meditate, we've been with you all day. You do understand that, don't you? And when you meditate, it's just like turning the knob and let's get a little closer. But we're already close. We know your name. I want you to approach things gently. Dear Spirit, I don't understand what's happening and I don't understand what I'm supposed to do next and I'm a little confused. What should I do? What do you expect we're going to tell you? Take four steps, turn left, breathe five times and smile. <laughs> You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> it's not going to be that way. And then there is the timing issue. Why don't you understand synchronicity? What is in this picture that is missing for you? And so I present a new metaphor. We're going to cook a meal. This makes my partner very nervous. Just relax. Cooking a fine meal on this planet is an art. You enjoy food. And the best cooks 
are the ones who start early and prepare and prepare and prepare. And in a real kitchen, there are multiple cooks, but in this metaphor, there's only one. Perhaps you have cooked for a family and there's just you. Perhaps you've wanted to prepare some meals which are exotic and perhaps a little different than in any kind of recipe. Perhaps you're one who makes up your own recipe. And you know what is involved. You start by compartmentalizing the ingredients and some of you will actually put them in containers getting ready for them to be compilated into that which is going to be cooked at the right time. You don't all mix them together. You may have a bowl of lettuce, a bowl of rice, there could be some vegetables here, and then there's the sauces and the au jus. There are some that are going to be cooked in, there are some that are going to be placed on the meal as it's being cooked later at a certain temperature, and then after it's done, there'll be others that go on it. There'll be seasonings before, during, and after, and you will be putting them in various containers and bowls, and you're getting ready. You may be preparing the night before because there has to be certain things that perhaps would be soaked or marinated in certain ways, maybe even pre-cooked in order for them to come to the final fruition of the meal when it all comes together in its beauty, its elegance, the aroma, lovely, ready for consumption and a beautiful taste combined with certain kinds of sauces and certain kinds of then beverages that complement the meal. It's a feast and you know what you're doing. Congratulations for that, cook. You really know what you're doing. Now I'm going to alter the metaphor. Stand by. Every ingredient in every bowl has a consciousness and every single ingredient in every single bowl has no idea what you're doing none doesn't even know the final meal it's just an ingredient but because it has consciousness it may also have attitude not necessarily attitude that is negative, but surely inquisitive. You are the cook and you are the creator and you have put something in a bowl. The lettuce, for instance. It may even be first. It has to be chilled. It may be 24 hours before the meal is even prepared in a final manner and it has to be chilled and in the refrigerator it goes complaining why am I in the refrigerator look I couldn't help but notice that, that there are some other things going on what's going on and why am I here in this refrigerator and how long will it be before I meet the vegetables now the vegetables are mad because they expected something to happen and nothing's happening because the cook is over preparing something else, the sauce. The sauce has no idea about anything. It's just flat in the dark seemingly because it doesn't know why it's being whipped up and what's coming with it. And look at this funny seasoning. This is a metaphor of synchronicity. Dear ones, you're cooking a meal in your life, but it's going to be cooked with others. The metaphor is this. What bowl are you in? How are you being prepared? How long will it be until the other ingredients come together with you in a certain way? in order for the final meal to be cooked. Are you all right with the fact that there may be some preparation? You may come together with some other bowls 
In a while, not now. How long? It depends upon when these bowls are ready, this is cooked, this is prepared, and this is chilled. And so when you say, dear spirit, I want to do this. How long is it going to take? What should I do? And the answer is, chill out. <laughs> Lettuce. <laughs> My partner wants to have a joke inserted here, and I'm saying no. But he's going to do it anyway. Let us pray. <laughs> I told him no. <laughs> the ingredients of the meal are prepared beautifully and with elegance and in a timing that each ingredient is unaware of. Completely unaware of. And you're impatient, aren't you, ingredients? To know when and where and how. The cook knows because the cook looks over all the ingredients and knows the plan. When it comes together, dear ones, it happens unexpectedly to the ingredients and all at once. And when it is pulled together, even after it's pulled together, it's not finished. For again, there are certain ingredients that must be added in mid-cooking. Are you one of those? Are you involved in the preparation, in the outset of the meal's cooking, or later, during? Are you the salt that comes last? You don't know, do you? And that's the point. How much trust do you have in the cook? <laughs> it boils down, no pun intended, to you trusting that which is the creator. The meal that is being cooked is the final that you have asked for. Where you're going with this, no matter what it is, is it personal? Is it with others? Is it a project? Is it that which is healing? Is it that which is job? It's a meal that is being prepared with many ingredients. Do you understand that for you to have an answer, other human beings are involved? Do you understand that they have free choice? Now, let's make this meal even more complicated. Every single ingredient not only has an attitude, but they can say no. Imagine what the cook now faces. The vegetables are backing out. <laughs> You're going to have to get new vegetables. Now, that's going to delay the meal just a little bit. As the new vegetables come forward, they are then prepared, and then everybody waits just a little longer. But the meal gets prepared anyway. You see, the cook is patient, <laughs> elegant it is, the system, beautiful it is, and misunderstood by almost all of you who are extremely impatient to be cooked. <laughs> you get it. I know you do. Where are you in the scenario? How long has the meal been being prepared? Are you impatient yet? Do you want the finality now? Can you taste it? And yet it's not there. The cook knows your name, dear ones. Cook loves you, dear ones. And everything that we have is benevolent for you. What if you have been waiting so long because you're the lettuce? You've been chilled, you came out, something happened, and you were chilled again. <laughs> and then suddenly, suddenly, the cook finds that the ingredients really have come together in an unexpected way and the meal finality has actually changed. It's going to be something else. Back in the refrigerator for you. <laughs> Lettuce. And what happens finally is something you couldn't decide 
if you had a crystal ball that was linear and you could decide what was going to happen, it would be better than that. You see, the cook sees all the ingredients all the time. Nothing is too complex for the cook. But for you, are you willing to understand synchronicity? Seeing how it works requires patience and you to relax. We've asked for this before, even in things that would seem immediate, healing. Sometimes processes on the planet which require answers right away. You do your best, but it's simply part of a greater picture. Well, through all of it, we want you to know we have never disengaged from you ever, ever. You see, we know your name. Could it be any clearer that our hand is stretched to you? The meal is a good one. And so it is.